Alpha KM is a modern, four-seater, utility, twin-engine plane that was made in Russia to meet the needs of growing general aviation in Russia and around the world. Both the Kislyar Electromechanical Plant, KMZ, and the Moscow Aviation Institute's MA Design Office worked together to make the plane. At the moment, it's considered one of the most exciting new planes in Russia's light flight market. The development process ran about five years and began in 2015 with help from the Foundation for Assistance to Small Innovative Enterprises in the Scientific and Technical Sphere through the state program, Cooperation. The project was started because Russia's general aviation sector needed to be brought up to date and revitalized, especially for areas that are hard to reach. The engineers built the Alpha KM based on the popular MAI-411 light aircraft, incorporating significant modifications to the plane's body and engine. Even though the Alpha KM is based on the MAI-411's design, it is 250 kilograms lighter. The frame and upper structure primarily consist of composite materials, while the engines are lighter and more efficient. It had better flight characteristics and a longer working lifespan because its aerodynamics and power efficiency were improved. The Alpha KM's first flight ended on August 12, 2021. It has been tested on the ground and in the air since then, confirming its performance. After being certified safe to fly according to Russian aviation norms, series production is set to begin in 2024 or 2025. Composite materials used in the airframe and upper shell have cut the plane's weight by a lot, bringing it down to 870 kilograms. The plane can still achieve takeoff with a maximum weight of 1,250 kilograms. Composite construction also makes the plane stronger, more resistant to rust, and more aerodynamically efficient. This means that it uses less fuel and flies more smoothly. The cabin is big and was purposely made that way so that the pilot and guests can fit while wearing bulky winter clothes, which is essential in Russia's northern, Siberian, and far eastern regions. The inside makes long flights possible without losing comfort. Another important part of the Alpha KM's comfortable design is how simple it is to get on and off. The plane has four doors that look like car doors, which make it easy to navigate in and out, especially on long runways or in tight parking spaces. The low floor makes it easy for pilots and people of all ages to enter and exit. The plane has better aerodynamic efficiency because its wings are more aerodynamic, its fuselage is better shaped, and the engine and propeller are carefully tuned to work together. With these changes, cruising speeds can be raised and takeoff and landing lengths can be cut down. Its heating and air systems are fine-tuned to work in Russia's harsh weather. The plane can fly easily and comfortably in temperatures ranging from minus 25 degrees centigrade to plus 40 degrees centigrade, and the cabin is always a safe place for both the crew and the passengers. The Alpha KM can be used for many different tasks in both commercial and military aviation. It can mostly be used for regional and local passenger flights, especially in places that aren't well developed or can't be reached. The plane is great for business travel, private aviation, and air taxi services because it has a lot of seats and a long range. It is also useful for spying from the air, capturing aerial photos, creating maps, and monitoring the environment. Because it is easy to move and uses little fuel, operational costs stay low and effectiveness stays high. One of the main areas of interest is medical aviation, especially emergency medical evacuation. The plane can quickly be changed by taking out seats so that medical stretchers can be added. Such versatility makes it possible for it to serve as a flying hospital for rural or remote areas. The versatility of the Alpha KM makes it an excellent choice for tourists, pilot training, and recreational flying. The Alpha KM is a great teaching platform for aero clubs and aviation academies because it is easy to use, easy to control, and has forgiving flight characteristics. The plane's autonomy and range render it highly effective 
for patrolling and monitoring infrastructure such as pipelines, power lines, woods, and rivers. It can go on long trips over large areas with little help from people on the ground. The Alpha KM can be used effectively in times of crisis or emergency, like during natural disasters or search and rescue efforts. Its ability to work from rural locations and its ability to use ski or float landing gear give it an edge in tough terrain. The Alpha KM is made to fly from grassy or gravel fields and unfinished airstrips. A short takeoff and landing range and a tall landing gear design make it safe to fly on rough or snowy surfaces that are common in Russia's far north and forested areas. The modular landing gear design is one of the best things about the plane. It can have regular wheels, skis for snowy areas, or floats for landing and taking off in water. For year-round use, even in the most remote or harsh settings, the design makes it very flexible. In line with Russian flight standards, its avionics suite lets it fly at night, during the day, and in all kinds of weather. The navigation system works with both GLONASS and GPS, and the contact systems let you talk to ground-based air traffic services or oversight groups. The built-in ballistic parachute system is one of the best things about the Alpha KM. In an emergency, like when an engine fails, this system can be used to gently bring the whole plane to the ground, making it much more likely that the crew and passengers will survive. The latest models of the Alpha KM have modern avionics that can fly themselves and help with landing. This new feature is especially helpful for teaching pilots, long flights, or repositioning in an emergency while under a lot of stress. The house was built with the user's comfort in mind. Comfort and situational awareness are provided by adjustable seats with seat belts, wide viewing views through the cockpit glass, and controls that are easy to find and use. Special care was taken to make sure that the system would work during long flights or in bad weather. The Alpha KM does better than many foreign aircraft, including the Piper PA-34 Seneca and the Technam P-2006T. It also does better than its forerunner, the MAI-411. Its low production and upkeep costs balance out its high performance, operational efficiency, and high-tech features. The Russian aviation authorities say the plane has a lot of promise as an export item. It is expected to do well not only in Russia's general aviation market, but also in Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Africa, where cheap planes are needed right away for utility, transportation, and border control. Kemzi wants to make up to 20 Alpha KM planes every year by 2027. The company has already established production lines and is enhancing its facilities and supply chains to facilitate mass production. As of 2025, the program had received more than 650 million rubles in support from both the government and private sources. Russian buyers are already interested in the plane. These buyers include airlines, logistics companies, private pilots, and medical relief teams. Export contracts are being discussed and various Alpha KM types are being made, like unmanned and cargo. Experts in the aviation business praise the Alpha KM for being reliable, cost-effective, and simple to use in a variety of situations. People think it's the best way to handle things at small airports and in places with rough landscapes or few facilities. Because it's so simple, it doesn't need much upkeep in the field. Pilots who have tried the Alpha KM say it is easy to fly, has great visibility, climbs quickly, and has controls that are easy to use. Many people say that the Alpha KM is a better value for money than many other planes, especially now that international supply lines are being messed up by politics. In conclusion, the Alpha KM is the pinnacle of Russian engineering in the field of light aircraft today. It combines advanced technology, safety, and flexibility. It creates new chances for regional growth by making air travel safe, cheap, and useful for emergency services, training, transportation, and tourism. Leading Russian aviation and business publications, as well as government statements from KMZ and MAI, are used as sources.
If you enjoy the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Additionally, please consider purchasing memberships to support us.